Hi there, it's Lori Ann from iDrawIt. Um, I'm here with another Inkscape tutorial. Last tutorial I showed you how to draw this little songbird and today I'm going to work on making a little branch for him to sit on. First thing I want to do that I didn't do last time is to get rid of this page border because I find it to be a little distracting. So just go to File, Document Properties, and make sure that show page border is not selected and then it gives you a clean working area. I think that looks a little better. Okay so go to your freehand drawing tool. Make sure that your smoothing is set up around 80. That's the way I like it. You can play with it and see what you like. And for shape I'm going to use triangle in and I'm just going to draw a big arch and with the smoothing on, um, it will just give you a nice smooth look there for your big branch. One thing to keep in mind, unless you change it to path, when you increase or decrease the size of the object, the thickness of your line will stay the same. So if you want it to be able to change, you want to select it, go to path, object to path and now you can see as you change this then the thickness of that line is going to also change and it'll stay that way. So we've got our main branch. So now what I want to do is go to your freehand drawing tool again and we're going to make some smaller branches off this large one. And don't worry too much about what they look like because we can play around with that in a minute here but just make a few branches here and there. Okay, and we're going to not change them to paths yet. Keep them an object so that we can easily tweak them. Just like this. And what I did is I selected my um, Edit Nodes tool. And it's pretty simple to make them look the way you want to. And it's still not going to be just quite right, but when we change them to paths, we'll fix that. I just want to move this one out just a little bit. Okay, now we want to change them all to paths. So we're going to drag to select it all, go to path, object to path, and then I want to make it all one piece. So I'm going to go to path, union. Now it's all one piece and we can work on it a little bit more. So I'm going to use the node editing tool again. I'm going to um, click on my plus sign to zoom in a little bit. Make it a little easier to work on. So take a look and see where you want to fix it. There's a little notch there. So I'm going to click on that. Easiest way is just drag around those nodes and delete. That'll smooth it out for you. Here's another spot. And delete those. Click. Delete. And delete those. Okay, if you decide that you maybe want to add a node back or add a node even where there wasn't one. Um, just put your little cursor there, double click, and you've got a node. And just keep playing with it till you get the look you want. Okay, and we'll zoom out, take a look. Okay, good enough. Now the next thing I want to do is draw a leaf. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I think I learned this 
little trick from the little web hut. He has a lot of great um, Inkscape tutorials and some other tutorials, including the GIMP. Um, if I'm wrong on that, I apologize. Please let me know if you think I'm wrong. But I think that's, I think he has this in one of his tutorials. And ever since I saw it, I've used it quite a bit. Okay, so we're going to click on this object. And I want to change it to a path. Object to path. Let's move it over here. I want to open up my stroke and, and fill box. And change the color. And I think green would be nice. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, also want to get rid of the stroke. Okay, now I need a stem. I'm going to do the stem just like I did the branches. And we'll rotate it. Okay, and select them both. Object group. Drag it to make it a little bit smaller. Let's get rid of this fill and stroke box. Okay, now that that's selected, I can rotate it um, 90 degrees. That way, duplicate. Now my stem is still an object, not a path, so I can kind of still play with that a little bit with my node tool. And V for flipping it vertically. And I don't think I mentioned right click, duplicate, to make more leaves. H will flip it horizontally, as I just did there. And I might take the time if I was um, taking time, taking my time with this. I might decide to make some different shaped leaves so they don't look all identical. But I just don't want to take the time to do that right now. Just keep placing your leaves around until you get the branch that you want. And this could be used for scrapbooking or um, a lot of things you can do with this. H, flip it horizontally. That's a shortcut I use a lot in Inkscape, is the H for horizontal, the V for vertical. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's zoom back out again, grab my little birdie, and if I click on Control and hold it down as I resize him, uh, the, the aspect will stay the same and will not distort him. A little bit smaller. Okay, 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.